Pauline Smith, now a lieutenant in the Civil Air Patrol, has always had a passion for flying. But it wasn't brought out until her grandson recruited her to join the Civil Air Patrol, so they could spend more time together. I wanted to join the Air Force at about 17. Back then your parents could sign for you. So my mother was upset and didn't want me to go. And that was kind of standing on the corner waiting for the bus to go sign up. And I felt guilty. And I didn't. But I always regretted it. My grandson recruited me in Civil Air Patrol because they needed more activity. So I got them involved in the community with different organizations for parking and water distribution and odd miscellaneous jobs. Not only does she help the community through the Civil Air Patrol, Pauline is involved in everything. Relay for Life, Marlboro's Historical Society, and she even helps abuse victims. We work with animal abuse, animals, you know, with shelters, animal shelters and horse farms and all of that. Um, just doing what needs to be done. I'm helping out with the evening and giving now. I was back along and I got a way to pursue other things and now my daughter and I are both involved in that. And um, my grandchildren ended up being volunteers as well, so that's good for the younger people. They're my next generation volunteers, you know. Aside from all of her volunteer work, Pauline describes her role as a lieutenant at the Civil Air Patrol. So my job is keeping the commander informed of what activities are going internal and external, which means I let the community know about Civil Air Patrol, what we do, what our missions are, and I do the reverse. <laughs> let Civil Air Patrol know what's going on out in the community, Marlboro and surrounding areas. The Heritage Fest celebrates the different cultures here in Marlboro, and this year, Pauline had the honor of being named the Heritage Hero. As a longtime Marlboro resident, Pauline Smith has selflessly volunteered her time and efforts for countless community organizations and events. <laughs> I was totally shocked. Totally shocked. I do what I do because I enjoy it. I love people. I always have, as long as I can remember. And um, I just do it automatically, and it's rewarding to me. I don't know how to explain that, other than it's just a real, true, good feeling. And there are so many others out there deserving of it. This isn't the first time she has received an honor for all of the work she does. With uh, Chet Curtis and Natalie Jacobson, I was with the uh, muscular dystrophy at the time. And my friend Sue Finn and I um, got awards for doing what we do there. So that was great. That was quite an honor as well. A pleasure meeting them. Pauline's love of flying started when she was just a teenager, and she remembers women always being involved in the Air Force. She's just always wanted to fly. And now I, I hear more and more about when you do more research about the women in, in the Air Force. Way back in World War II, there were more women that a lot of people aren't aware of that were involved back then when, when uh, Pearl Harbor happened. Civil Air Patrol was founded a week before Pearl Harbor. And um, when the boys went off to war, citizens actually got their airplanes and, or borrowed them from others and flew the coastline. Everyone has a certain person that they look up to. Mary Fike, I believe I pronounced it right, is still in her original uniform. <laughs> it's amazing. I met her in Connecticut at the Air Space Museum down there. It was awesome. She's in her 90s, I believe. She still looks, she's powerful, she still flies. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Her grandson is not involved in Civil Air Patrol anymore, but he is a part of the ROTC at Assabet Valley and works together with his grandmother and her organization. We network, so if Civil Air Patrol goes out on what we call a local mission, then I'll request them to come along and uh, get to know one another and how to work together. Pauline's main mission now is to get more teenagers involved with her causes and get their opinion on helping out in Marlboro. I'm trying to get the teenagers today. I think there's a big need there. There has been for a while now, you know. I try to work with them when I can. I would like to form a round table here in Marlboro to do that. And I think I have a couple of young girls that I've spoken to already that would be interested in helping out with that. The Civil Air Patrol is a program that both kids and adults can be involved in. It's a great program for youth. You know. 
and it's quite an education too. They get a lot more than I, I had realized when I first joined. We go to encampment at Fort Devens once a year. I've been to three already. <laughs> Love it. For more information about the Civil Air Patrol or Pauline Squad in Marlboro, visit MinutemanSquadron.com. Dreams come true at any age through Civil Air Patrol. There's no limit there. <laughs>